Hello, welcome to the December 2020 edition of uh, Dyer's Prize Unboxing. We start with a small parcel. Might be a bit quicker doing this without Rylan wrestling with the packaging, but we'll see. Oh, ah, this is nice. Maybe I should have let him open this one. Although actually, maybe I'll give it to Rylan for Christmas. It is chocolate. Eight little bars of chocolate, and this is from Pure Heavenly Chocolates. And so this is like a, um, a little taster set that they did. And this was just a runners up prize in their competition. They did quite a, they did a competition that he really hyped up. It was winning years supply of chocolate um, and it was really well advertised. And then they did a Facebook live to draw the winners and things like that. And um, I got loads of messages because I was a runner up um, and one of the runners up to get a little taster set. So they look really nice actually. Mint, coffee, orange, salted caramel, banana, banana chocolate raspberry i said this actually could be a really nice little stocking filler for ryland something a little treat for over christmas so i will tuck that away somewhere see i'm, I'm doing all right with my chocolate christmas gifts at the moment for my unboxings aren't i um oh i've got an email here uh this is a competition that's been running for a while actually with attack a snack uh, which are the little snack packs that you get a little wrap and some cheese and pepperoni and, and things um, and this was a competition, it was um, 20 winners every day of Cineworld tickets. Uh, but obviously the cinema aren't open at the moment, so they've changed the prize. And actually if you win, you get a £20 voucher to use on the Chili website, which is, um, you can just download and watch films on that instead. So I won on this uh, last week. So I've just got an e-gift card to use before the end of April on Chili. And this one... It finishes actually on the 31st of December, so by the time you watch this, I'm afraid it will be the last day to enter that one, so that's no good. Um, okay, I've got a juicy bag here. Uh, I know what this one is. This is a nice one, this one actually. Quite exciting. Uh, so, White Company. And this is a gift card inside. I don't know if it's going to be a note as well. Or just a gift card. A gift for you. Uh, so congratulations on winning our competition. We hope you enjoy Just My Luck uh, from Team HQ Stories. So that's a £100 um, white company gift card. And this is a competition that um, was on the HarperCollins website. And if you pre-ordered um, a book called Just My Look, which obviously sounds perfect for compers, um, you could get entered into a prize draw every week. And every week they were giving out a £100 white company voucher. So uh, I pre-ordered it on Amazon. Um, it actually turned out pretty much free because the book was, I think, £6.29 on Amazon. And I had just won £6 on the Quidco instant win, you know, the, the collecting squids competition. So I won six quid on that. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to enter this competition because the book sounds good. And I can enter a prize drawer as well. So you needed to do that and then I think give you receipt details when you entered it. So that's a really nice prize. And I'm looking forward to getting some new pillows with that card. Um, so yes, yeah, so HQ Stories and HarperCollins, uh, they do quite a lot of competition both on Twitter and on the website, so it's worth signing up to their newsletter. Right, here we have a box, heavy box. Now, you can see, I know what this is because it says it on the label and it's part, of, uh, it's part of a bigger prize that I don't really want Ryan to know about just yet, which is why I'm opening it now while he's at school. Nothing else inside, just the price. I thought there might be a letter, but I'll need to tell you all about this one. So this is Carabao. Ooh. So it's 12 cans of Carabao energy drink. Now, so um, this is from a competition on the ASDA website. And it's one where you had to make a purchase and enter. Um, and there was 10 winners of um, the VIP Carabao Cup final package which includes tickets to the cup final at the end of February next year, a Wembley tour, match ball, um, a programme and the Carabao of course as well. So 
Um, I'm just hoping that it happens, which is why I haven't told Ryland yet, because I don't know if you remember, we won tickets to the leasing.com final, which was supposed to happen at the start of April this year, just into um, lockdown, so that just it hasn't happened, and Ryland's really excited about going to that. So I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to tell him about this one until we know that it's actually going to happen. But they have said that if it doesn't happen and that um, if fans can't go to the final, then we will get some money instead to make up for the fact that we can't go. But we sh should still get the match ball and the programme if there is one. So that's really cool. And I also need to say thank you um, to Charlotte, who got me the qualifier for this because I went to my two local houses in Brighton and they didn't sell Carabao. Um, so she helped me out and she sent me a photograph of a receipt. So I had my qualifier so, and I could enter the competition. So that's really kind of her to do that. And I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. So that should be something to look forward to for next year. A couple of prizes I've just remembered about because I don't actually have them here to show you. Uh, but one of them is a really lovely prize with light up trails, which is a um, illumination event locally in Sussex. And I've won a family ticket for four of us to go to that anytime before the start of January, I think it is. And it looks really lovely. It's at Whiston House and they just light it all up beautifully at night. And that was just in an Instagram competition where you had to like and comment on their photos. Um, and another prize I've won is uh, from a link that was shared kindly in the Lucky Learners group. It was for the Nectar Spin to Win competition where every Nectar card holder uh, wins at least a thousand points. I think it will have finished by the time you watch this. Um, but I spun the wheel and I won 5,000 points, which works out at £25 worth of nectar points, and they're going to go on in January. So that's a nice bonus. So that's two other good prizes to report. And hopefully, uh, we'll get some other stuff to show you before Christmas, and maybe Ryland will be back to join me too. Hello, it's the 14th of December. I've got a few parcels to open. Shall we, Ryland? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a, well, it's a very small one. In fact, I'm not even sure if it counts as a prize, this one. It might be more of a freebie. Um, but still, mm -hmm. Ryland might enjoy it. What have we got? From Mavitti's, too good not to share. Remember those delicious milk chocolate digestives that someone wanted to share with you? Well, here they are. <laughs> we actually haven't got any in the house at the moment, have we? I bought loads of chocolate digestives when the Tokyo McVitie's competition was on and I've sort of stopped buying them because it was a bit too much of a treat. The new pastry. So, um, yeah, so you'll have to have those as a special treat with your cup of tea. Um, and anyway, McVitie's, I think they did this uh, for the first 50,000 people who retweeted or something like that. So it was one of those just Twitter, Twitter freebies that if you were there early, you would have won. So, which actually, talking of that, I think this might be... We want the heavy one to open next. So, heavy and fragile, thus it is alcohol. <laughs> so this is for the light. Um, now, ooh, and bubble wrap. So this is from, actually, it's funny because I've won this prize twice in the past couple of months from Bud Light, but this one is from the Instagram competition that they ran. And it was basically saying, um, sort of celebrate, what was it, New Year? It was, you had to go back and find an old photograph from New Year last year before 2020 started and hashtag it with, I can't remember, even remember what it was now. That's noisy and annoying. Um, but there was a specific good light hashtag for New Year's Eve and you could put it on an old photo and if you got a comment from them saying you'd won, they would send you some beer. And I'm not sure that anyone lost. Anyone who tags an old photograph won a box of beer, so that's just cool. Um, I've actually got another box coming because they ran a competition on Twitter with, again, a lot of prizes, 500 prizes um, with Bud Night, and I've won with that as well. So there will be more beer probably coming next month or the month after. So they're really sort of generous promotions. Bud Light are doing a lot of those at the moment to spread the word. So thank you for that. Um, we've got a little one up here, haven't we, which I started opening this morning thinking it was something I'd ordered um, or someone ordered for me. Uh, and it wasn't a surprise, so. Okay. Okay, it's from, uh, would you like to show the prize to the camera? There we go. So it's from Wren Kitchens. Again, I think there was 250 of these to be won, so you need to look out for these competitions. They do get shared in my Lucky Learners group, um, these kind of comps with loads of prizes, so everyone's got a good chance of winning. Um, so join us and bake along on Instagram Live this Saturday at 10.30, see you there. So um, this is a campaign that Rent Kitchens are doing and they do.
doing a live bake along for um, Christmas treats at the weekend, which I don't think we can make. I think we're going to be driving at that time. Um, but we will hopefully be able to watch it afterwards. So if you open that upside down, is that right? That's yes. There. Yeah? Yes. So there you go. So it is a baking kit for... What can you make with this kit, Riley? Oh, 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 well, that was just cute. So look. So these are all the elements that you need to make your polar bear buns. So little eyes, and chocolate buttons, and coconut sprinkles, icing sugar, flour, and marshmallows. Mm. So that's really nice. Now, of course, you haven't seen the photo of what these look like, have you, Ryland? I, I, I did. Yeah. Was there? Because it was on Facebook. Yes. So that's what you're going to end up with. Or maybe not, because I'm, I'm, we're not great as bakers, are we? It might not be quite as pretty as those. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a go at that anyway. So even if we can't do it on Saturday, we'll, we'll have a go at home and let you know how we go. Okay, so um, one last big box to open. Big box. Uh, shall I do the swiping, do you think? Can't quite remember what's going to be in this one. Uh, it was, I don't know if you can see on, oh, there we go. There's a clue. So... Day four, so you can see it was a win from an advent competition. From day four, in fact, of an advent competition. Oh. <laughs> uh. Right, we are in. Paper. and I've got three passes to open which I think are all prizes that I'd like to give Ryland for Christmas so I've had to wait until he's gone to school to do this part of the unboxing so let's get started okay, so this is a dice game called Hedron 12 and I won this from Absolute Dice on Twitter and they it was in one of their advent competitions um, so every day in December, you could just retweet and enter to the win this one. And they said it's good for kids and for grown-ups. Not sure how it works, but I thought this would probably be quite a good um, just stocking filler for Ryland. So I'm going to tuck that away till Christmas and we can have a play of that over the holes. So thank you, Absolute Dice, for that. They do do a lot of giveaways on Absolute Dice on Twitter, actually, so definitely worth following. Okay, this one is a book. So uh, this is the Creature Keeper and this was in a Twitter giveaway from the Scholastic uh, Twitter account and it was when they did a book launch with the, and then the author set a few different tasks on Twitter, creative tasks, and I entered a couple and Ryland entered one as well. And uh, we were one of the winners of a copy of this book. So again, that would be perfect Christmas gift for Ryland. This parcel here is so it's on the back, it's from Coiled Spring, and they make games as well. So I think I know what this one is. So. Hi, Di, congratulations on being one of the winners. We hope you enjoy the game. Let us know how you get on. So they've said I'm one of the winners. This is um, a prize from Tired Mummy 2 from Laura's blog, 
and every year she does the Tom Bowler and she has so many prizes to give away and you basically enter once but you say which are your favourite prizes and you can get bonus entries for tweeting. So I chose a few different prizes um, but I was really keen to win a new game because we love playing board games. Um, so this is Flash 8. Um, align your electrons to get the current flowing and pass your opponents and there's a solo games mode as well. So age seven plus, one to four players, 15 minutes. Playtime sounds perfect for Christmas. So again, that one will go away. Of course, it's Rod's birthday on Boxing Day as well. So maybe maybe that one will wrap up for his birthday as well. So really pleased with these little treats just before Christmas. I've got one other thing to tell you about. Um, I got an email from Brighton Bike Share. Now Brighton Bike Share is where you hire uh, the, the bikes to ride around Brighton, which I don't massively need to do anymore because this year I got my first bike. I bought a bike. I know I couldn't win one. I tried so hard. I couldn't win one. Um, so I bought one. So I don't really need to hire the Brighton bikes. But they did have a lovely Christmas competition where they had, they had one candy cane striped bike. And if you hired it and took a photo riding it, you could win lots of prizes. Um, so I did. I hired it and rode it around <laughs> just locally a little bit got someone helpful at Sainsbury's to take a photo of me on the bike and I was one of their winners in the competition and uh, I got an email saying I won four tickets to visit the Upside Down House in Brighton which funnily enough I paid to go to for the first time a couple of weeks ago we went there to take a photograph for our family Christmas card um, and we had a really good time actually we put our Christmas jumpers on and took some really good photos which are probably on my Facebook I haven't shared them yet but I will be sharing them before Christmas so they'll be live now on my Instagram and Facebook um, but it was just a, you know, a really fun place to go to and take photographs. So I'm hoping that the, the tickets haven't got an expiry date. So when friends can come and visit again, maybe I can take friends down there to take some photos too. Um, so that's it for today's little prize. It's really pleased with, with this. Like, it's always nice to win some Christmas treats. So hopefully I'll see you again before Christmas. Bye. Hello, it's the 19th of December. I've had this delivered, but it kind of looks like it got a bit bashed. So I've been squashing it. I think I know what it might be, and it's quite a funny prize. I hope it is, but let's see. So, uh, it's sort of the size of like a football prize, but it's not a football. I don't think it's a football. It's too heavy to be a football. I think it might be something Christmassy. Bubble wrap. Oh, I think it is. I think it is what I thought it might be. Ooh. Right, okay. It's here. It's a Christmas cake. But it's not It's not any old Christmas cake. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let me show you the, the front of it. It's from... Oh, I think it's got a sticky tape on. There we go. Oh, it's a noisy one. So... Oh, oh no, the icing's coming off. Keep it in there. So it's Merry Christmas from Bingo All Stars. And this Christmas cake was made by the legendary Rusty Lee. <laughs> now, if you're about the same age as me, you will remember Rusty Lee because she was on telly so much. Celebrity chef, hilarious, wonderful Caribbean lady. And apparently this is a Caribbean rum Christmas cake. Very special. Now... Uh, what happened with this comp is we're going away for Christmas. We thought it was just going to be the three of us for Christmas, but now we're going away. We're going to see the grandparents as well. Grandparents love Christmas cake. We haven't got a Christmas cake, and I thought, oh my God, I need to win a Christmas cake, so we've got something for Christmas. Search Twitter, this came up, and I thought, oh my God, I think they were giving away 10 or 12, and I was like, oh my God, nobody's going to enter this. You had to join Bingo All Stars, and I, I do join Bingo sites sometimes just for the prize draws. Um, so I joined and I'm one of the winners. So I got my Christmas cake ready for Christmas. It's quite exciting to tell the grandparents that Rusty Lee has made the Christmas cake for the Coke family this year. So brilliant. Thank you for being here all stars. I better take a photo of that and share it on Twitter. Um, so I've just got one more quick thing to open, which I think you know what it's going to be because we mentioned it in the last unboxing, didn't we? Do you remember? I said there's another one for me. Yep. But I've got an idea for this one. So here we go again. It's another box of Bud Light beer. So my plan is I'm going to give this one to my bin men. I was thinking, what's a good gift for the bin men? 
and we've I've won so much lager this year. So I'm sure they won't say no to a few cans of beer when they pop by just before Christmas. So um, that is it for now. So I'll, <laughs> I'll go and tell tell your dad that Rusty Lou made a Christmas cake, and I'm going to show you who she is on YouTube as well because there must be some quality 1980s footage of Rusty. <laughs> so brilliant. That's it for now. See you soon. Bye bye. Hello everyone, it's Christmas Eve. Um, so we're going to do a little unboxing. First of all, I need to tell you about a prize, um, which was actually, it was sent to my mum and uh, bless her, she did a little FaceTime unboxing with us. Uh, but I made an error because I screen recorded it on my Mac, but there was no sound. Um, so I can't edit that in. However, I do have lovely still photographs of my mum showing off some of the prize. And it was a lovely hamper from Seasonal Spuds on Instagram. It's just a comment to enter Christmas competition. And the hamper had in it, it had in it an apron, a Christmas apron, Christmas oven gloves, some salt, a roasting tin, um, a whisk, a wooden spoon, some measuring spoons. I I think that was all the bits of the hamper. It was really lovely and my mum loved it as a little early Christmas present because I was supposed to be with her this week and we're not allowed to go to Wales because of the lockdown restrictions. Um, so we're celebrating Christmas on Zoom and FaceTime with mum and dad this year. Uh, but that was a really, it was great to be able to send her that little treat just before Christmas. So on to our parcels then. What have we got, Rye? Open this one first. So this is the one I think you will uh, enjoy most of what we've got today, definitely. We've actually, um, we've got Nana here, we've got my mother-in-law here for Christmas. Um, we, we got her out of London just before the restrictions exactly. came in. Yeah, so she's, uh, she's our extended family for Christmas, which is really good news. Uh, but she did say that when she watches the unboxings, she gets really annoyed that it takes Ryland so long to get into the past. Oh, come on. <laughs> she says she's sitting there and she's like, oh my God, what is it? I want to know what it is. Because sometimes I do edit i do cut out like 30 seconds of rylan struggles and before i offer to help i'm quite mean uh, and leave you to <laughs> leave you to do it for ages don't i but you're doing all right with this one good effort it's because you know it's a good one. <laughs> oh. paper. paper oh oh Cadbury chocolates, yeah, but not just one tin, right? Two? Yeah. Oh. One for me and one for you. Yeah. So this is a fab. This is limited edition look. Emma Bridgewater, Cadbury's Roses tins, um, which is really lovely. They did a competition on Instagram where you had to tag um, your special person. I can't remember the hashtag now, but anyway, you had to share a photograph of your special person and you won two tins of roses and they gave away I think 32 tins every week for the last few weeks so that was really generous uh, and here they are just arrived just in time for Christmas which is great because I didn't oh. buy any chocolate tins so Rai you can open them as soon as we've finished recording here right what have we got next a yellow parcel a DHL parcel mm. that one you might just want to tear that one <laughs> not as easy is it Things. Right, there we go. What is in the bag? A box. A box. I've only just noticed there was a... Oh, no, it wasn't a letter. It was just a delivery note. Okay, well, so we've got a box in there. This is speedy, speedy opening today. No, it's hard. Oh, it comes up this way, that's right. Yeah, pull it sort of down. Mmm! Okay. I know what it is. It's a Twitter prize, this one. <laughs> it's a bit of tech. Here we are. So this is the Disk Assure um, USB. What do you call these, really? It's an SSD. So I think it's... Is that secure storage device what does it stand for i'm not sure anyway it goes into the side of my mac and i think it's two terabytes of storage which is tons of storage and i can use it for all my videos and things like that um so when i'm recording on my youtube i've never got enough room on my mac for all the videos that i record so this will be really handy to stick in the side and put all my videos on and um it's, it's got like you set a pin code and stuff it's i think they cost about 130 pounds so these are it's really good really helpful thing to have 
at home for my computer. So, and that is from iStorage Limited on Twitter. And I think it was just a retweet and comment competition. So I'm quite chuffed with this because it would be really handy. So thank you to iStorage. Little early Christmas present, dye storage. What we got next? Ah, oh, there's a clue what this one is, isn't there? I think, th again, this one is probably gonna be quite easy to open if you just get that, oh, it's this bit under here, so. There's a clue on the box, it says create at home cocktails. Perhaps one that Ryland won't enjoy. Actually, having said that, there might be something in here that you like. It's not all about the alcohol. Okay, so here we go. There it is. <laughs> it's the chocolate orange. Or Terry's dark chocolate orange. Enjoy your cocktails. Congratulations. You're our Christmas cocktails competition winner after taking part in our festive cocktail masterclass from ukchristmascocktails.com. There we go. Oh, look, and then here's the, so I think this is the ingredients to make. It's three specific cocktails. So we've got a beefy to festive Negroni, spice to passion star martini, and a chocolate orange espresso martini. So, right, what fruit is this? Do you know what that one is? Lime. This one is a passion fruit. Uh, you won't see that very often in our house. And then, oh, and then we've, so we've got a box of, oh, look. So we've got dried orange, coffee beans, and then loads of little bits and bobs, all the little elements of the, oh, wow. They're all really tightly wrapped, aren't they? Campari. Don't really need any of that because I won Campari earlier this year. Beef eater blood orange, that's gin, isn't it? And then if you push it through the bottom. Sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth, that's martini. Vermouth. Coffee liqueur. Vermouth. vermouth. yeah, Italian. Uh, absolute vodka. That's who I actually won this with. They had three different masterclasses. Um, and I watched the one with Absolute and I made an Elderflower Collins, which was with Absolute Vodka. Uh, elderflower cordial, soda water, and just a slice of lemon. And um, syrup. And sugar syrup. And then I just shared a photograph on Instagram to enter the prize draw. But well, that was one of those where you just signed up for free uh, to watch the class, and then if you made something from the class, you could win prizes. Mm. I don't think many people, uh, well, everyone's too busy to do it really, weren't they? But I've always got time for a cocktail. So, and that is pineapple juice. And, oh God, making such a mess. Sachet of coffee, Nest Cafe. That looks like a little bottle or something, some fizz or something. Right, so, oh my God, I'm gonna have to um, get busy with these, aren't I? Christmas cocktails, Prosecco. perhaps? Prosecco, lovely. Well, there we go then. So that's, uh, luckily we're all at home for a little while, aren't we? Lots of opportunity to drink festive cocktails so that's lovely thank you very much for uh, what were they called uk cocktails ukchristmascocktails.com so um yeah create at home cocktail kit lovely i can't wait to get going with those right right so we've got another uh, drinky one here uh, do you twist twist yeah i thought you could twist Mm. No, let's make that stickers over it. Let's have a look. It says open. Open. It does suggest that you twist it, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Right, let's see. Yeah. If you've had one of these as well, can you please assure me that it's not just me and Ryland that have taken about five minutes to actually loosen the tape enough to twist the lid? How ridiculous, right. I think Ryland has guessed already what might be inside. Yep. It's more exciting oh, for me so than for most people though. Turn it upside down. Uh, thank you for celebrating Coca-Cola's 100 year association with Christmas. We encourage you to keep this can as a keepsake or give it to a loved one as a gift. So here we go, it's, it's Die Coke. <laughs> yeah. All I ever wanted, a can of Dye Coke. Share the holidays with Dye. <laughs> Dye Coke. Right, so I'm going to keep that somewhere safe because I don't, I don't drink Coke. I don't drink caffeine. So uh, it, will, uh, it will be displayed somewhere lovely. A special can of Dye Coke. Right, we've got one more prize, haven't we? And I think we can guess what that one is because it says it on the box. Yeah. This one came this morning, very early. 
Ooh, what could it be? Actually, have you ever eaten pop chips? Do you know what they are? Yeah. Have you? Okay, and that one. And this is just from, um, I think it was just an Instagram comment competition again. There's quite a lot of foodie competitions on Instagram. So uh, I've just entered quite a lot in the last month or so. And there we go. What a treat. Right, so there we are. There we are for the pre-Christmas unboxing. Loads of goodies there. Quite excited to get stuck into the roses. And um, I've got a few more prizes due. Some I can squeeze some more in before New Year's Eve, which would be amazing. But apart from that, we're off to celebrate Christmas. Bye for now. <laughs> Hello, so this is it, the end of the year. It's the 30th of December, and I'm just quickly filming the last bit of the unboxing so I can get it ready to go online early on New Year's Eve. I've got one more prize to tell you about, and actually a prize that's not mine to tell you about too. So my final prize in the unboxing is a £10 voucher for Toy Street, and they have an email newsletter and they had a little quiz in it just before Christmas. And if you were the first person to tweet the answer to their little quiz in the newsletter, I think they had words hidden in the newsletter and it was um, a line from a Christmas song. First person to tweet won a voucher and that was me. So I was really pleased with that win. A bit of effort went into that. Another win I need to tell you about is my friend Sue. Uh, it's actually Sue's birthday today. Happy birthday, Sue, for yesterday. It'll be when she watches this. That's confusing. Anyway, Sue won a Zoom call with Raheem Sterling and she invited me, my husband Rob and Ryland to join her on that call earlier this month and it was brilliant. And so we had a 15 minute chat with Raheem. We had to send over questions beforehand and get them checked over by Raheem first and when it was all approved we did the Zoom call on a Friday evening and it was really good and everything he told us was so useful because um, my husband Rob coaches Ryland's football team so we asked loads of questions about coaching young footballers and what his memories were of being a young footballer um, and it was just great and it was a really fantastic unique experience and thank you to Sue so much for sharing that with us that was a lovely prize and that was from Walkers I believe. Um, and that is it as we come to the end of the year. One thing I did want to catch up with you about is because, I don't know if you remember, I did the lockdown challenge for the Lucky Learners in November. So for the four weeks of lockdown, our aim was to enter a thousand competitions, which I did manage. I think I did a thousand and thirty-seven in the end. And I just wanted to let you know that out of those thousand competitions, I won 13 prizes. Unless there's any coming later, um, so 13 wins out of those competitions. And I did find it quite hard to do because it was at least double what I usually enter every day. It was 37 every day, which is a lot. So I was just rushing to get loads of retweet, easy ones done. However, it did massively motivate me for December. And uh, in the whole month of December, including a few of those prizes from the challenge, I won 27 prizes, which is a really, really good month for me. And most of them were in comps that maybe needed a bit of effort or I searched for email newsletters, um, creative comps, things like that. I entered a lot less comps than during the challenge, but I focused on what I wanted to win, local competitions and just searching and putting a bit of effort in. So even though I probably spent uh, the same amount of time comping, I did fewer competitions, but more effort ones. So I suppose it proves my point. What I've always said is quantity, no, quality over quantity. So instead of just rushing to do hundreds of competitions every day, maybe do half that amount, but focus on the ones that are effort-based or local or the ones that people aren't just going to be doing on Twitter, easy retweet ones, the web comps that you find on the competition websites. Uh, but yes, anyway. So uh, you can also see a review of my whole year of comping. I've put that up on Super Lucky this week, so you can find out all the prizes I won, which was 152 prizes this year and the value was just over £8,400 in total which was a little bit more than 2019 which I'm really pleased with. Um, other things that are coming up in the new year, make sure you're in the Lucky Learners Facebook group because we'll be doing the usual motivational posts. I'm going to be getting you doing your wish list prize bingo cards again with a list of all the prizes you want to win this year so you can focus on winning them this year, I mean next year, of course. And also we'll be getting our prize spreadsheets set up, ready for 2021, so you can track those prizes and invite them in. 
because without a spreadsheet, you're not going to win. Once you've got that blank spreadsheet, you will start winning, I promise you. Um, and I think that's all I need to say for 2020. It's been a weird year, um, but comping, I think, has got a lot of people through it and put a lot of smiles on people's faces. And let's just do what we can to make sure 2021 comping cheers us up as well. So I'll see you soon over on Super Lucky and in the Lucky Learners Facebook group. And I hope you have a wonderful new year. Bye bye.